In this video, we're going to start looking at the envelope zoom in multiple stage envelopes. Now, I've got an initialized patch here with one of the wavetables called up and just some sustained chords. And this is what it sounds like as is with nothing done yet. So just some sustained chords. Now, I'm going to set up a routing and I'm going to take the modulation envelope one. So we can use the filter and amp envelopes for modulation as well as for their dedicated uses that we get from over here. But in this case, I'm going to choose modulation envelope one, and I'm going to have it modulate the hard sync parameter so that we can really hear the effect that it's going to have on the tone of the sound. So modulation envelope one is going to modulate hard sync. Let's go into the zoom here, and we can see that we can select the different modulation envelopes here. And this is the default pattern that's assigned by default when we open up mod one. So let's hear what this sounds like. So you can hear that it's modulating that parameter based on this kind of stair step pattern. Now there's a preset menu with all kinds of interesting different patterns to go through. I'll just play a couple of them. And they're a lot of fun. There's different categories here and different styles. Let's just try one or two other ones. Let's try one of these. Let's look at how some of the controls work. Now, it's important to remember that the point to the extreme left is always the attack time, and the last two over here are always the sustain level and release time, but we can add unlimited numbers of stages in between. Now, we have an edit menu here, and to start with, we can repeat the pattern so it'll last twice as long. Let's listen to that. So you can hear it takes four bars to go through it instead of two because it's repeated the pattern twice. We can unrepeat it and we'll be back to normal. Two bars, and we can also play it in half time or double time. And double time should bring us back to normal. Now we can click in the background and drag to scroll the display like that. And we have a zoom slider here. And let's look at building our own pattern. So I'm going to go under here and go to default ADSR, and that'll be the regular four stages, the attack, decay, sustain, and release. Now to add our own stages, we need to control click in the background, and we can choose from a variety of different shapes. Before I do that, I'm going to move this over to make a full four beats. And you'll see it's moving freely of the grid. I'm going to put snap on. And by doing that, it's going to move in 16th note increments. And they're like that, it'll be an even four beats. So I'm going to control click in the background. I'm going to go add, and it's added on another stage over there. And let's control click here and add a pulse. And there it's added a stair step kind of motion. Let's add a step, and it's just removed it and replaced it with a step. Let's go back to spike. There we go. And I'm going to control click here and add some more. Let's go pulse, and let's do another one. Let's go add. A spike like that, so it'll be a real different kind of transition between the hard sync values. And we can click and drag these down like that. And to get rid of a node, we can right click and go remove, or we can just double click on a node. I'm going to go there and add another pulse, and there's another stair step type motion. So let's hear what this sounds like. <laughs> This isn't right on with the beat, but because we have snap on, we can easily make sure it's on. So with the different shapes available, you can really get different types of ramping and values that are going to be added wherever you want. You can create them just by creating nodes like that and create all kinds of different curves. Let's look at some more of these editing shortcuts. Now, Snap can be temporarily toggled by holding down the Option key, and that's Alt on Windows. So if I move this and hold down Alt or Option, it's going to snap it to the grid, remove it, and it's off. So it's like a temporary toggle. And this is great when you're modulating pitch by snapping. It'll snap to semitone increments. Now, we have the Lock function over here, 
and that can be toggled using the command key on the Mac, and that's control on Windows. And what that means is when we move one of these stages, it'll lock all the future stages in down the timeline and move them all together. So for example, if I move this now, it moves freely, but if I hold down command and temporarily toggle lock, it'll move all of them down the line. So let's do that plus snap and do this so it'll snap to value. Now we have the XY, which constrains the movement to either vertical or horizontal. And the shortcut for this is shift, and that'll temporarily toggle it so you can move in one direction. Now fine gives us finer resolution. So for example, let's say I want to move this up. You'll see the readout of the values, and you'll see that they're moving in fine increments versus when this is off. It's a little bit coarser movement. And we also have scale over here. And the range of the envelope is going to be increased by dragging any of the points within it. So except for the first one, that's kind of the exception. The attack one stays the same. But by dragging any of them, we're going to, let's put it on, we're just going to increase the length of it. And now it looks like it's out of range. And when it's out of range like that, we can press the auto zoom and it'll automatically zoom it so we can see everything. So now it'll be more stages. <music> And it's kind of nice like this when you get an odd number of stages that don't match the exact number of beats in a bar. For example, this is 4-4 four, four time, but not 4 or 8 stages. You get nice irregularly repeating patterns. I'm going to end off here, and we'll look at the rest of these parameters in the next video.